Hello, I'm back. I'm doing okay, still recovering from a more intense uh, heart surgery than I expected, but I'm getting there slowly. Looking at the week of June 28th, I never did get you the answers to the questions there. If you remember, this is the rich young fool. We can see a picture of him here um, where he is falling at the feet of Jesus. And that comes to our very first question. Is Jesus impressed with the man falling at his feet? I want you to think about this apart from already knowing the story, which is very difficult, and I was trying to do this myself. If you see Jesus <clears throat> and you're living at that time, you know he's a significant figure, may not know everything about him. And then you see this young man falling at his feet. What went through my mind was this, looking for mercy, um, respecting him because he's either a special rabbi, probably not knowing that he's both God and man. Um, those kinds of things go through my mind and think about what might go through your mind. But it's very evident here that Jesus is not impressed with him falling at his feet. He's recognizing Jesus as somebody significant, but <clears throat> he's also recognizing uh, something that Jesus has problems with. And here's where the very first key point I want to make about sharing the love, joy, and peace with other people. Understanding law and gospel. And Jesus here is being a mirror. He is applying the law to this man. He's applying to the law to this man as we're reminded here that Jesus talks about being good and what good means. And uh, so very carefully understand that as we look at these questions, we see Jesus is not impressed and we need to observe why. And that'll take us to the next question too. For now, we'll sign off.